So this week we're back home, going up against North Carolina in the Battle of the Carolinas. So sort of preview this meet for us. Uh, give us your expectations. Uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be a great matchup. It'll be probably the closest meet that we've had all year. When we go through event by event, um, their top end times are, are almost identical to ours. So uh, the races out front are going to be really close. And, and what we've talked to our team about is that. Um, the, the events themselves, the, the meet's probably going to be won not so much by the first and second places, but maybe by the third, fourths, and fifths, and, and how we match up in, in the depth with, with UNC. So um, it's, it's going to be a fun meet. It's going to be a fast meet, and uh, we're excited to be back home. We were on the road last week against uh, one of the best teams in the country in NC State, so we're looking forward to getting to stay and race in our home pool and, and getting to uh, kind of cap off our, our fall semester dual meet season before we go to Georgia Tech for our invitational. Yeah, so you talked about that this is the first meet back at home after two straight away meets. So mm -hmm. what does it mean to finally be back at home? Back it's it's so nice because uh, the travel takes a toll. I mean, we had, to, we had to take a bus trip to Kentucky, and that's no joke. That's a, a six, seven-hour trip, and uh, it's hard to recover from that when you're sitting on a bus all day and then expected to go and race at a high elite level. Um, and then to come back home the next week, we went to NC State and a much shorter bus ride, but you're still kind of cramped up on a bus for a little while. And we do our best to accommodate and take care um, through routine, take care of our needs in terms of recovery and things like that. But you just have an easier setup when you're home and the environment's more comfortable. Uh, the fan base always shows up for all of our home meets, so it's always a lot of fun. It's loud. There's a lot of energy. It's exciting racing. Uh, so to be able to stay home and, and operate and, and um, and perform at our best is always is always a good time. Yeah, so just lastly as the fall dual meet season sort of comes to an end You're gearing towards those fall invitationals yeah. sort of talk about the training differences as we gear up towards so, those invitationals. you know with with our training it really it doesn't change We don't deviate from our plan But what we use these first three or four meets for is to see how our athletes are how they're adjusting and accommodating with our training. As our training ramps up and gets more intense, we want to see how their bodies respond to that, how they're able to perform and how they're able to recover and how they're able to prepare for the next practice sessions and the next racing. So um, it, we don't really prepare differently, but this is kind of, a, a, kind of our, our um, exclamation point on the semester. It's where we want to be our best. It's a prelims finals meet. Uh, which means they'll, they'll race in the morning to try to finish top eight, top 16 at night so they can race again at night. It's the same prelims finals format that SCCs or NCAAs holds. So it's a good trial run and uh, it gives us an opportunity to see the full range of our roster uh, in a three-day format. And so uh, we're looking forward to some good racing. It's going to give us a lot of answers about who our SEC team is going to be um, in February and, and hopefully preparing them on for March.